But if we can learn from the Tungtung River Conservation Project, if we can learn from this group of, of young minds and hearts and hands who have collaborated all their efforts and creativity and passion to change the river, their territory, how else can, can we see the, the goodness of the world if every young people would do, every young child or, or young person would do the same in their own respective mm. places, rivers, lakes, and oceans, right? Mm. So our last minute of the show is for Henry. It's called The Takeaway. When we say The Takeaway, it's a segment where our guest would distill all his or her experiences in life and the purity of the wisdom is being transferred, given, and shared to our viewers. So Henry, you are, I don't want to put you on the spot, but how old are you? Uh, 33. You're 33 years of <laughs> <Yes>. existence. <laughs> Distill all your experiences okay. and let the world know and how can they do the same and how can they benefit mm -hmm. from your life's learnings. Okay. Um, I'd like to begin by saying or sharing with you one of the uh, most memorable experiences I've had when I bring a student to the river. Okay. The first time uh, a student of mine went to the river, he slipped. Okay. He slipped and hit the ground pretty hard mm -hmm. and there was mud all over his uh, behind. Okay. Okay. But he got up and said, yes, I did it. So he was happy actually to commune on a very physical level with the river. Uh, why is he happy? Because well, his world, like a lot of students and, and children nowadays, is home, car, school and mall okay. and all cement all metal That's right. yeah, very rarely will a child on his or her own effort explore a river very rarely will a child go to go on a forest walk unless right. it's required my students would have not climbed mount makulot unless i forced them <laughs> to and i think they're grateful yeah. for the experience so we can say that uh, our our children ha have become children of cement Okay. And, and, and steel electricity and, and steel and glass and computers. I would I would like to slowly change that and appeal to all the teachers and all the parents out there to to consider bringing children out to to the environment to to nature walks, nature trips, uh, not so much consumer trips like you know you go to a place where you watch the dolphins for a while and then you buy a lot of gadgets you don't need. <laughs> okay, not really that, but more of Going, a, going on a mountain trek, spending overnight with the family, it, ex it, it, it enriches the child and, and the child grows up to become a steward, a real uh, caretaker of nature. A steward and, of nature. And not like a client of malls. <laughs> wow, a steward of nature. Yes. That's, that's really you know, perceptive of you as mm -hmm. a human being who's really in touch and connected. Mm -hmm. Being a steward yourself of nature. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to our students if you can promote the website and if you have a message uh, to our you know the manufacturing team or the group or the, se the sector or the industry especially the fast, fast food, food chain if you have an appeal make it right now on GNN seen globally and of course not only that but as well here in the Philippines let's start with the website Yanni? Um, please visit our website uh, at headsentrcp.wordpress.com and uh, y you'll be able to learn about what we do there, the efforts of the students, the teachers, and if you could, you could help us in any way possible. Uh, thank you. Um, that's, all. that's very nice, Annie. Thank you, <laughs> Annie. And about, what about you, Bev? Your appeal to the fast food chain surrounding Antipolo and not only them, but but the fast food chain in the world. So yeah, helping out and saving our environment isn't really that hard. It doesn't take that much effort. Like if you take your food out, like take it home, uh, plastic spoons and forks, they're not really necessary. You have, you have yours at home. And That's right. Yeah. And just avoid unnecessary packages. Small changes can change yes. the world. Yes. Thank you, Bev. And going back to Henry, well, we're closing up the Tung Tung River Conservation Project. So, Henry? Well, uh, with this, uh, well, first I'd like to thank you, Mr. Mabalat, for, for 
for inviting the us. The pleasure is mine. Okay. Yeah. And uh, hopefully our project will uh, infect in a good way other schools because uh, it just takes a little looking around. So the schools out there, you can probably spot a, a creek, be it a canal or whatever that you can focus on, or a small strip of woodland that you can, your students can, can start studying and conserving then our children can become uh, mediators to the adult world. They can tell their parents, don't throw that away because right. it will end up in my river. That's <laughs> or right. Something like that. No? So holding up, holding up. Yes. So hopefully the children get to realize that the environment is theirs, that they really own it, and so they must take care of it. Who wants to throw trash in your own bedroom? That's right. Yeah, I understand. So. And that's a very nice point of view. <laughs> so thank you very much, Professor Henry Kalilo. Yeah. And thank you to... Holistic Education and Development Center, Hudson, for raising these wonderful youth leaders who would be future leaders of our government. With that, I'd like to thank GNN for the vision to really be business-oriented and to be responsible citizens. We, are G we as GNN are, are doing these things to make the Philippines a better world. Uh, during the, my during my time of reading yesterday, I've seen that the financial or economic ball is on Asia's court. Mm -hmm. And we are Filipinos, we live in Asia, and the economic ball is on us. Through GNN, we'll help you reach your goal, be world-class Filipinos, and change the world one step at a time, just like what these people are doing, stewards of nature. Henry Kalilong, Ryland Delphine, Jeremiah Frejas, Justin Duque, Rihanna Santos, and Beverly Kaluma. Thank you to you and to the whole TRCP group. You're welcome. And like what they did and what they're doing, Filipinos, a little looking around your, around your environment can somehow prompt you to do something to change the world. This is Howell Mabalot. Thank you for watching GNN. Mabuhay ang Pilipino.